A beautiful day for college football here in the state of Utah. Utah trying to get it going. Trying to reverse and now looking to throw his Covey. Drops his gloves during the play, looking to pass, aborts the pass play, and then shakes every defender in the Wildcats defense. Covey breaking tackles. Brenton Covey, touchdown Utah. The ability to take a short pass, evade a tackler, and then go the distance. That is the specialty of Britton Covey. I'm Britton Covey. I'm a sophomore. Um, I played my first year back in 2015, and now I'm back for my sophomore year. Britton Covey is one of the smartest, if not the smartest, football player that I've ever been around. Had a phenomenal freshman year, freshman All-American. Well, I, I think the most underrated thing about Britt Covey is his football IQ and, and just extremely intelligent. The main thing that he brings before he even touched the field is his, uh, just his ability to learn offensively. He was obviously a, um, a high school quarterback. I played a little bit of receiver in high school, but um, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a tough transition, but it definitely is different. Little Wes, his teammates call him Little Wes, Little Wes Welker, and he looked like it right there. I think um, being smaller, being shorter, you have to have a certain type of mentality where you're, you're fearless and you're a competitor. Rather than thinking about, oh, I'm gonna drop the ball or oh, I'm gonna get hit. You try to think about the positive side of it. Oh, I'm going to score a touchdown on this play. Touchdown, Britt Covey! You're either all in or you're in the way. So if you're not all in with the team, we don't want you here. And that's our message that we send to everyone. Everyone's kind of adopted that. When I was being recruited, I talked to all the coaches and I was honest with them about me going on a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And uh, I think also that was part of the reason why uh, the out-of-state schools didn't recruit me as much is because they knew I wanted to go on a mission. But the coaches knew pretty early on. I just remember uh, with my receivers coach at the time, he asked me, you know, if you have a good year, would you consider staying? And I told him, um, no, I've already made up my mind that I'm gonna go after one year. It was a decision that I made long before having a successful freshman year. So even though I had a good freshman year, it wasn't hard for me to take a step away from it and uh, just remember what's most important. So I went to Chile, a part in Chile called Rancagua. And um, Chileans are great. They speak Spanish and they speak really fast. So it took me a little bit to pick up on that, but uh, I'm now fluent in Spanish, and I, can, I love speaking Spanish whenever I can. And um, we just spent all day every day looking to serve people, to go, you know, the classic missionaries that you see will help paint your house, will help with anything, and our main priority is we want to teach uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's what I did all day every day. And you really kind of just have to forget about yourself and think about other people. And uh, that's when you really find yourself. I think just nowadays in the world, there's so much going on, there's so much commotion with social media. If you're able to disconnect from all those things, you start to appreciate life more. You start to recognize all the things that you're grateful for, all the things that you miss out on. It was a fun time. It was, it was a great time. It was hard, it was really challenging, but it was totally worth it and I loved it. The mission program here at Utah has been in place for a lot of years. We have, uh, gosh, I think it's around 40 missionaries either in the program or out serving missions right now. But uh, to us, it's all positive. There is no downside to, to these guys serving a mission. Uh, they learn so much out there, uh, just about life in general. And, uh, you know, they're on their own for two years. And you talk about getting them a very mature, responsible individual when they get back off the mission. Uh, those guys are, are invaluable to our success and uh, it's just a, a facet of our program that we think is a big positive for us. Here we go, baby, here we go. Ready, ready, set. Get it!
Coming back to football after two years of being away and not lifting and not training was interesting. The offense was different, completely different. The quarterback was different. I mean, I came back to a whole new coaching staff almost, to a whole new system. And so I just had to buckle down and learn it. And it really excited me because I saw myself fitting in the system well. Open it up. Buckle up. Get your minds right. Okay, left hash can be lying, lying, lying. We just getting started. We just getting started. Let's go. If you ask me what's so unique about Brick Covey, one, he's very outspoken, uh, not afraid to express his opinion, which in this day and age, most most young people today the only they can't even speak. That's a good call, Covey. Real good call. It was interesting to learn a completely new offense, but the cool thing about this is the program didn't change, and that's what I think Coach Witt has done such a good job of. Players come and go, even coaches come and go, but the system of Utah football, just the identity of it stays the same. Covey will throw. We have so much talent on the offensive side of the ball. I think this is, this is a more talented offense than, than I had my freshman year. When you have so many playmakers, you can't key on anybody, and that's what makes it so fun. Reverse, Covey, he's gonna throw it to Huntley. A trick play, Huntley, touchdown. It has been some welcome back to Utah for Britton Covey. It's almost like two years hasn't passed. It was just like being back at home, and I just love this, this area, this fan base, and it was fun, it was good to be back. I did not know how I was gonna be coming back. I guess you could say I just exercised faith, <laughs> and I believed that if I put two years on the line to serve God, that he would help me with what's important to me as well, which is football. We got family on three. One, two, three, family! The Drive, shot with Canon EOS cameras and lenses. Coming this season on The Drive, we go behind the scenes of every football program in the Pac-12. It's about smashing someone in the face every single play. To tell the most compelling stories of the players and coaches in the Conference of Champions. For the most in-depth access with your team, watch The Drive on Pac-12 Network.